Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared plus 10x over x plus 10 whole squared is equal to 800. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. x squared plus, by using this power rule, a over b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n divided by b to the power n. This 10x over x plus 10 whole squared will become 10x squared divided by x plus 10 squared is equal to 800. Next, x squared plus this 10x squared is 100 x squared divided by x plus 10 whole squared is equal to 800. Now, we can write the denominator of this x squared 1 and we take LCM of this one and this x plus 10 whole squared. The LCM is x plus 10 whole squared. When we divide this LCM by 1, we get this x plus 10 whole squared. So, we multiply this by x squared. x squared times x plus 10 whole squared plus this LCM divided by this x plus 10 whole squared is 1. And 1 time this 100 x squared is 100 x squared is equal to 800. x x squared times this x plus 10 whole squared will become x squared plus 20 times x plus 100 plus 100 x squared divided by x plus 10 whole squared is equal to 800. Now, we multiply this x squared by this expression. So, x squared times x squared x to the power 4 plus x squared times 20x, 20x cubed plus x squared times 100, 100x squared plus this 100x squared divided by x plus 10 whole squared is equal to 800. x x to the power 4 plus 20x cubed plus this 100x squared plus 100x squared will become 200x squared divided by x plus 10 whole squared is equal to 8 Hundred. Next, x to the power 4. From these two terms, we can factor out 20x squared plus 20x squared as common factor and in bracket left x plus 10 divided by x plus 10 whole squared is equal to 800. Now, this expression can be written as x to the power 4 divided by x plus 10 whole squared plus 20x squared times x plus 10 divided by x plus 10 whole squared is equal to 800. Now, this uh, x to the power 4 over x plus 10 whole squared can be written as x squared whole squared divided by x plus 10 whole squared plus this uh, x plus 10 will be cancelled out with this x plus 10 squared and here left 20x squared divided by x plus 10 is equal to 
Now this expression can be written as x squared divided by x plus 10 whole squared plus we can write this 20x squared over x plus 10 as 20 times x squared over x plus 10 is equal to 800. Now inside the parentheses we have same expression x squared over x plus 10 and here we have same expression x squared over x plus 10. So we suppose that let x squared over x plus 10 is equal to m. And we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m squared plus 20 times m is equal to 800. Now we move this 800 to the left hand side then m squared plus 20 times m minus 800 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this uh, m squared and we split this uh, plus uh, 20 m as plus uh, 40 times m minus 20 times m minus 800 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out um, in bracket left uh, m plus uh, 40 from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 20 and in bracket left m plus 40 is equal to 0. Now this expression m plus 40 this expression m plus 40 is a common factor. So we factor out this m plus 40 and uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, m and this negative 20 in bracket left uh, m minus 20 is equal to 0. From here either this m plus 40 is equal to 0 or this expression m minus 20 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to negative 40 and from this equation m is equal to 20. Now recall that x squared over x plus 10 is equal to m. Recall that x squared over x plus 10 is equal to m. So when m is equal to negative 40 then this equation will become x squared divided by x plus 10 is equal to negative 40. And if we multiply both sides by x plus 10, this implies that uh, x squared is equal to negative 40 times x plus uh, 10. X, x squared is equal to negative 40 times x negative 40, x negative 40 times plus 10, negative 400. Now we move this uh, negative 40x and this uh, negative 400 to the left hand side. Then x squared plus uh, 40 times x plus uh, 400 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this x squared, x squared and we split this uh, plus 40x as plus uh, 20 times x plus uh, 20 times x plus this 400 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out x in bracket left x plus 20 plus these two terms we can factor out 20 in bracket left x plus 20 is equal to 0. Now this x plus 20 and this x plus 20 is a common factor so we factor out this x plus 20 and in bracket left uh, this x and this plus 20 in bracket left uh, x plus uh, 20 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression x plus uh, 20 is equal to 0 
or this expression x plus 20 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to negative 20. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to negative 20. This is the first value of x and this is the second value of x. So far now we have two solutions of this equation x1 is negative 20 and x2 is uh, negative 20. Now to find the other two solutions in this equation we put this value of m20 then this equation will become x squared divided by x plus 10 is equal to 20 and if we multiply both sides by x plus 10 this implies that uh, x squared is equal to 20 times x plus 10 and x squared is equal to 20 times x 20 x and 20 times plus 10 plus 200. We move with these two terms to the left hand side then this equation will become x squared minus 20 times x minus 200 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 20 and c is equal to negative 200 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b is negative 20 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write in negative 20 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 200 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 x, x is equal to negative times negative 20 positive 20 plus or minus square root of this uh, negative 20 squared is a positive 400 negative 4 times 1 times uh, negative 200 plus 800 divided by 2 times 1 2 and uh, x is equal to 20 plus minus uh, square root of 400 plus 800 is 1200 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to 20 plus minus this is square root of 1200 can be written as square root of 400 times square root of 3 divided by 2 x x is equal to 20 plus minus square root of 400 is 20 times root 3 divided by 2 from here 2 1 time 2 10 times 20 to 10 times 20 and from here we get two solutions of this equation x 3 is equal to 10 plus uh, 10 times root 3 and x 4 is equal to 10 minus 10 times root 3. So, these are the four solutions of uh, this equation.